<laughs> my brother, what is going on, man? Who out there has a favorite day of the week? Well, mine's not Friday. Mine is Amazon Day, you know, especially when it's Amazon Full of Knives Day. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of preview uh, for you guys. Uh, looks like the channel, to me, it seems like it's picking up. Uh, when I checked the other day, we had about 30 subscribers. You know, that's awesome, man. I, uh, I wasn't really expecting a lot of guys to come over here and hang out with me on the channel. Let me uh, let me adjust this cool little fancy camera thing I got going on so y'all ain't bouncing all over the place. Anyways, uh, what I want to do, um, we're going to continue doing some really, really awesome buoy reviews, man. I got a couple more big ones, um, and I got a couple of more uh, popular ones that are also going to be coming but today, I really wanted to discuss uh, some of these bushcraft knives that I've got coming in too. So I just want to give you guys a sneak peek on some different knives that we're going to be reviewing. Probably going to be putting them out sometime. I don't know. Uh, I got my son this weekend with me. We might put them out, uh, go to the woods and put them out this weekend or this coming week, something like that. But let's get started, man. So whew, what's first? Of course, the dog wants to go out. He hears me talking. Yeah. All right, first up here, this is my brother's knife. Man, my brother gave me this knife. It's just a old deer skinner and uh, had a cool biker brother of mine uh, create me a nice little leather sheath, all right? Show you guys this knife. It's not stamped, it's not marked. I don't know where it's made, I don't know where he got it. Imagine it got passed down to him at some point by another friend or brother or you know wherever it came from, but uh, I don't really carry this knife a lot, I don't really take it out a lot. I really just kind of use it to, uh, to skin some stuff. And uh, you know, my buddy did a really awesome job making this sheath for me. It's kind of a good sheath if you're just gonna stick it in your belt or throw it in the backpack, protects the blade. But I really wanted an actual functional sheath. So there's this brand out there I found on Amazon called uh, uh, Ataza. Now uh, I can look at this box. I'm gonna guess that this is probably made in Pakistan and that's all right, man. You know, some of that Pakistan stuff, yeah, remember, you know, uh, these guys in the Middle East, they are the original developers of Damascus steel. So, you know, uh, I have a bunch of Damascus, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I have Damascus Pakistani made knives that I use in my kitchen. Um, I'll pull them down one of these days and show them to you guys. But uh, right now, I just kind of want to get into what I thought was really cool about this company. Um, they make a few different sheaths. And I'm going to put the link in the description on these. All right, this is a right side buckle. All right, it does have a little loop there. I guess you can stick a fire starter or something down in it. And this is another one, man. Both of these sheaths, only $20. And there's a third sheaf out there that I'm thinking about getting too. I mean, look at that. That's a big, thick sheaf. Um, big loop on there to hang through. You can put a sharpening stone or lighter in there. It does have a slot for your ferrule rod. All right, and... Um, Man, I bought this knife because I bought this tracker knife. Now, if any of you guys have bought any of these Poshlin knives, you know, as well as I do, they come with these really weird looking sheaths, right? Horizontal carry stuff is, is really cool, but man, you know, you almost got to put it on after you get out of the truck because like sitting in a seat with one of these things on is just not very comfortable. So I kind of started searching around for some different knives, man. Um, the sheath is pretty thick. It didn't come with this rod. I'll put a link to those. There were like two of them for eight bucks. They seem to work fine. I blasted some sparks with them earlier. But uh, I mean, for $19, I think this is a killer sheath, especially if you've got some of these tracker knives that, uh, now this ain't a Tom Brown tracker. I think this one's a Poshland or something. Um, but as you can see it, I've been trying to gun blue it a little bit. Just take some of that shine off. I've been experimenting with some of these knives to see what all we can do with them. <clears throat> fits in there good. I mean, it's a good fit for this knife, you know. Now I can, you know, vertical carry it if I want to. A couple different securement points. Sweet, right? Hoorah. That's what I like to see. Ah! Knife sheath. So, uh, between the two, I guess they both have a spot, and I'll say this one do. Now, on this uh, Skinner my brother gave me, on this stag handle, that's real stag, it has an odd shape, man. So, Fitting these kind of odd knives, man, you gotta put them in there just right. And then you gotta still squeeze and work on them to get them to shut, you know? So, 
I need a little bit of work on there. I'll probably stretch it out if I want to. It did snap, did work. Now I can vertical carry it. I like this sheath a lot. It'll probably work for this knife, you know? Probably be all right for that one. I don't know, it looks a little awkward. What do you guys think? I think more of a traditional drop sheath for this particular knife looks, looks uh, just looks more right, you know? I just gotta remount how I carry it, that's all. So, what else we got in here? We got a couple of sheaths. So let's get down to what we're gonna be reviewing. Um, bushcraft knives, man. Man, I got a bunch of them in here. I'm trying not to make a 30 minute video. I know you guys got about the attention span worse than I do. So, we're gonna be doing a review this week on the K-Bar versus the SRK. This is by Cold Steel, all right? This is on sale right now on Amazon for $37. What appealed to me about this knife does come with the sheath. It feels like it's got a Kraton handle. Apparently this is the knife that they issue to uh, SEAL trainers in BUDS, uh, or Navy aspiring Navy SEALs who are going through BUDS training. Uh, this is the SRK by Cold Steel. It's supposed to be a super durable blade. Feels pretty durable. Uh, so we're gonna be doing some cool stuff with that. Try it against the K-Bar, see how it does. Uh, for $37, I think this would be a great option, man. Um, just right off the rip. Let's see if we can blast some sparks with it real quick. Let's see, we'll use this one. we we'll use this one right here. Oh yeah, you guys see that? It's going, so it'll do it. No blast sparks, all right? That's what you need. Make sure it does that. Somebody told me that stainless steel won't do that. I never tried a stainless steel knife. Oh man, I've got a cool knife to show you guys this week too. Yeah, that's an original Bowie knife from Solingen in Germany, man. This one is a stainless steel version. Let's see if it'll blast sparks. Let's see if there's any truth to that. Oh, they weren't lying. Nope, it don't do it. There you go, a hunting knife, man. Beautiful everyday carry knife, love this knife. I'll tell you guys a cool story about this knife um, later on this week too. So, next bushcraft knife. I'm pretty excited about this one. This one here is the BPS. I will put a link down there. I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, just taking it out of the box. I just happened to see this. Look at this. It's made in Ukraine. How about that, right? Still over here. This thing is only $39. Comes with a really nice chief with a dangler. And I like the dangler because when you sit in the truck, you can move it out your way. It's not stabbing everything. Um, does have the uh, little slot in there for the for the rod. Um, I haven't put it in there yet. Looks like I'm gonna have to stretch this one out a little bit to get it in there, but it will go. I can see it going now. Yeah, look at it. It's going. All right. But the knife itself, very simple, man. Extremely simple. Maybe three millimeters thick. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. You can kind of see about the size of it by my blade. Yeah, it fits in the hand pretty good. Just a bushcraft knife. Man, this is a simple tool. And I think for 40 bucks, you're getting a, bang, a pretty good bang for your buck. Looks like it's got a... Man, I'm trying to focus this for you guys good. Looking at it, I'd say it's a flat grind. Not quite a hollow grind, it's pretty flat. This would be a really nice knife in the field. To, really easy to sharpen. Man, it's got a really sharp back on it too. This thing, I know it will blast. Here, let's, let's blast it with the rod it came from. Let's see what it does here. Oh yeah. Man, I'm gonna have to put this down so you guys can see the uh, sparks blast and I kind of adjusted it there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but. Uh, oh yeah, it's going. Hopefully I'm gonna set the Amazon box on fire, right? So PPS knives, super excited to do one on this one. Woo, man, man, it needs to be the weekend already. All right, what else we doing? Oh yeah, another Otaza product. This is an uh, Otaza knife, if I'm pronouncing that right, that's a bone handle. Pretty solid, pretty thick. Real quick. Yep, blast sparks, that's what we need to do, all right? SRK. Let's get to the buoys, man. Who's, who's ready to see some buoys? Holy smokes, look at this. What do you guys think's in here? I know you guys probably, some of y'all probably know what buoys in this thing. That's the Shrade buoy. Oh man, just taking it out the box. Look at the size of that. Golly, it's a big, heavy demon, man. 
It's almost too big. I mean, I don't know if there's such a thing as a too big on a buoy, but uh, I don't know if this thing's a machete trying to become a buoy or or what. That's that's a big, thick blade. So when we're doing this one, that's the straight buoy, a straight buoy. Got another one here. We've got a uh, Uncle Henry, man. And I haven't even taken this one out the box yet. I'm pretty excited. Let's, let's crack it open real quick and take a quick gander at it. Man. <laughs> How many of you guys raise your hand and shout and like and comment if you like opening a box full of brand new knives? This is the Uncle Henry UH 181UH. Excuse me. There you guys go for you reading tops. <laughs> right. right out the rip. Man. All right. I'll do an unboxing for this one for you guys. We'll do a first impressions. I'm just wanting to give you guys that preview again, all right? Not going to be crazy tonight. All right. What else we got? I think we got one more. Got one more goodie in here. I forgot what this one is. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yes. Man, this is actually a butcher knife. This is the, this is also by Ontario. This is Old Hickory. And you know, I've been watching some reviews on this knife. I was kind of looking for like a butcher knife and uh, there's actually this knife kind of keeps popping up in these uh in these bushcraft videos and they're like oh talk about how solid it is and all this stuff so you know i went ahead and ordered it and uh can i say that it's gonna be good in the woods man it's thin i don't know oh we not but it'll probably be good enough for uh it is made in the usa and it does look super cool yeah that'd probably fit in this Weird thing, maybe. Let's see. No, no, that blade's way too long. Ooh, you don't touch yourself on that one. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, boys. That might just be a, a kitchen knife. They said it was kind of a bush crafty knife. We'll watch some more reviews. We'll test it out. We'll try it. That's super lightweight. I'm sure it's good for carving, man. All right. Thank you, boys. I'll start making this stuff right away.